Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. Today we're going to be talking about Nintendo Switch 2 because there are supposedly some leaks going on out there about dev kits, potentially having the system be revealed maybe as soon as this month and still come out in 2023, which to me, I'm going to be honest before we get to the reports, I'm not really so sure I'm buying any of this, but We'll get into why it is important to talk about because you know what? We got to cover our bases. What if I'm wrong? And it is coming this year, even though I fully suspect a holiday 2024 release. But we got to talk about it. We really, really do because there is some reasons to talk about it that make some sense coming from a particular studio related to Nintendo. Now, before we dive into this, I want to remind you that we are on our road to 150,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for being where we are today. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you would drop a like and leave a comment down below telling me your favorite flavor of ice cream. That's right. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Oh, and why not hit the subscribe button and maybe that bell to set it to all notifications so you can be, you know, informed on every video that we drop whether it be a live stream or one of these news videos so let's dive into this and we're talking about switch 2 because of this particular user on twitter now this user on twitter is known as nash weedle but it's it, it's weird let's first before we get into his switch 2 stuff talk about why people are trusting him and it's because of this stuff he posted around metroid dread so Nash Weedle over here on Twitter, it's a Spanish person or someone who lives in Spain. I don't really know the full details of their background here, but I did the Google translation here. It says, I love recovering old tweets. The truth is that sometime in 2020, I had a lot of data, but the confirmation came a couple months before the game was revealed. What I like the most about this is when I tell you that it's in 2D, it's by Mercury Steam, blah, 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 blah. I don't know why I say 2025, it might be a typo because his original tweet, as you see here. Uh, so basically what he did is he tweeted about Metroid Dread here, Back in May 30th of 2020, he was one of the first people that I could trace that said Metroid Dread. Uh, and then we see that here in April of 2021, that's when he told us it was in 2D, that it was by Mercury Steam, and that it's released in 2021. Obviously, at this point, this game hadn't been announced. It was one of the big surprises at, at the E3 2021 Direct. And so this is why this guy has credibility. There's other things he's thrown out there that make people go, oh, man. He hasn't gotten a lot right. This is pretty much it. But also, Mercury Steam is in Spain. They are a Spanish studio. And it's entirely possible if you connect the dots, he maybe has a connect there. And everything else he's leaked and or said just is him speculating versus him knowing. I don't really know, okay? This has some Samus Hunter vibes. And we'll explain that in a moment. Because he tweeted this. This is the tweet that has everyone going nuts. And it, we, we have this uh, Leak Express. You see the Switch 2 image. And what it actually says here is the Switch 2 development kit has arrived in Spain. That a Spanish study, and again, the exact translations aren't like perfect. It actually means studio uh, already has the kit in the face of Nintendo's policy uh, of secrecy. It's a boost to their relations. It indicates that we are in the last phases prior to the presentation of the console. Now, this person, I, I just want to note, is the main reason that there's any credibility to this stuff. But I want to point out, they've also been retweeting this Spanish YouTube creator here, who's basically, yeah, his channel's all about game leaks. He's been retweeting his stuff, yeah, I think a couple of times, or maybe it was just the one time. Yeah, again, right here as well. Uh, and, and, and what's interesting about this stuff uh, with this particular YouTuber, who moon knows, maybe this account is that same person, is this YouTube video, and I had to talk to someone who speaks Spanish because I'm not very, I'm not native with the tongue. The YouTube video basically boils down to a couple things. One, it mentions the Switch 2 dev kits. It mentions that Mercury Steam has them. Uh, Mercury Steam, as you know, is the studio that made Metroid Dread. Now you're seeing how the dots align there. And that it could be unveiled extremely soon, possibly even this month to come out in 2020. 23. That's sort of the brux of his video. You'll see he's got some Nintendo DS and GameCube for NSO rumors in there as well in that video. But that's sort of the brux of it. And that's really where all of this information is coming from. Now, why am I saying this feels more like a Samus Hunter situation? For those who don't remember, Samus Hunter was a Twitter leaker that we had covered heavily around 2020 and 2021, a little bit in 2019 as well, because Samus Hunter had shown a track record of getting some things right. And I mentioned several times, 
I don't care where the information comes from. I care the information is correct. But in this case, I've obviously learned since those days, those were early days of covering Twitter leakers, that you know what? Context matters. I always say it matters. And context matters in this place as well. And, you know, fumbling around on FAMI boards where they have a giant hardware thread for Switch 2 and they were debating all this stuff. It sort of dug up that there might be a Spanish forum where this information originally came from and the 2D Metroid stuff might have actually leaked on that forum as soon as 2018, not 2020. And this person might have been repurposing information from that board. Now, I'm not going to name who this user is over on that forum because they've never leaked anything else. They've only actually talked about this stuff. So I just got to note that this can feel maybe like Alepian logic and that maybe this particular Twitter user Nash Weedle is using that little bit of clout they got off of potentially peddling someone else's leak and using it to infer that this video from this other YouTuber is correct. Now, if you want a little bit more information on who this YouTuber is, because this might be really the originating source of all of it, here is his YouTube channel with this video. He's known as Behind the Games here, and he's got a lot of he's got a lot of followers, 165,000. He's bigger than my channel, and he does a lot of these Spanish reports on rumors. And there's lots of rumors and leaks and information out there on this kind of stuff. But to me, I, I, I kind of feel like we might be grasping at some straws. Uh, but I know Switch Force, uh, you know, my friend Zach at Switch Force and others have sort of come out to say that this is a thing. And I just, I, I, I want to clarify that I personally am of belief that uh, Mercury Steam probably has a dev unit. Absolutely. I, you know what? I can believe that Mercury Steam has a dev unit. Mercury Steam works directly with Nintendo even before... You know, Metroid Dread came out, they worked directly with Nintendo. And if they're working on another 2D Metroid that, again, in that video, you know, on YouTube, the guy says that, hey, it's 2D Metroid to come out in 2025. You could argue that's news in that of itself, but that they're working on it for that next system and they have a dev kit, sure, because Mercury Steam would be a partner studio with Nintendo. Just like I can believe a Platinum Games is working on Astral Chain 2, they too might have a Switch 2 dev kit. If it's hard, like Nintendo's partners are going to be the first companies outside of Nintendo's internal studios to have Switch dev kits. So I can believe that Mercury Steam has it. You know, the interesting part about the Mercury Steam stuff, by the way, uh, and them supposedly having a dev kit. And this is where like this story starts to get weird. Apparently everyone developing on the dev kit, like anyone who gets access to it at Mercury Steam to make this new Metroid game for it, they're only able to do it with a Nintendo Switch Pro controller. That way, if any images from the studio ever leak, it would just look like they're using a Switch dev kit, which I find to be really, really interesting. And it also suggests that the Joy-Cons aren't Joy-Cons anymore. There's some sort of new controllers for the system. Again, this is all just... At this point, I don't know how much credence to give any of it. It is a fun conversation, though. I personally think the system's coming next year. If Mercury Steam has a dev kit, it doesn't mean it's coming this year. I, I think there's a too big of a leap in logic to go, well, you know, if, if they're having the system now, then this is like a precursor, like Nash Weedle's tweet. You know, if you, <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you go through it here, his tweet, let me bring it back up for you guys. Give me a second. His tweet here, uh, when translated, you know, <laughs> the face of the policy of the secrecy, it's a boost in the relations and indicates, indicates that we are at the last phases prior to a presentation for the console. I highly, highly disagree with that notion. Uh, dev kits can be in the hands of Nintendo's partner companies for over a year uh, to get the, you know, the, the games are working on with Nintendo done. So now third parties, you know, a, a lot of third party studios, what they'll do is they'll have a ballpark figure of what Nintendo's doing and they'll kind of roll the punches with that and call it a day one interesting part about this you guys remember the ftc versus microsoft stuff that we talked about how bobby kotick was equating the switch 2's power to a playstation 4 close to a playstation 4 those words got conflated a little bit he obviously when we had the full context he didn't really say that he actually knew what the specs in fact he directly said he doesn't know what the specs are but that he assumes it's going to be close to the play, the power of a PlayStation 4. I guess the conversation with Furukawa was like, "Hey, we make games for PS4 and PS5. Is your system like going to be capable, you know, for, of like PS4 level stuff or whatever for porting?" And I guess there was an inference there that Bobby Kotick should expect 
something around there, but he doesn't really know any exact details. But what is what happens in cases like that is if that is true, if there's any truth to that, that then they could make a PC that's a like similar spec to the PlayStation 4 and arguably start early work on Switch versions of games. It can only go so far till you have the actual dev kit, but at least it gives you a little bit of a head start. Personally, what I find even more fascinating is apparently the the you guys know Digital Foundry, right? Well, I guess there's a Spanish version of Digital Foundry, and they went out and corroborated the Bobby Kotick stuff and said, yeah, the Switch 2 dev kit is around the PlayStation 4 power, but that's a lot more nuanced than that, which was a little weird because that's also what Famiboard said. So it was like, is, is this like an instance of a family boards, Twitter family boards. Uh, also, some people saying that, hey, these people aren't as good as Digital Foundry. Ew, look, I, I, this is all the problem for me is this is all in a foreign country. This is all from Spain, and I am just not that well versed there. Like, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I have enough capabilities on my own here to really dig into another country's journalistic integrity with all these different leakers and news outlets and all this stuff. So, all I can do is just bring the information to you guys and let you decide what to do with it. You guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Rubble Jads from Nintendo Prime, and we'll catch you in that next video.